cease from exploration. And the end of all of our exploring shall be to return to the place where we started and know that place for the first time. Yeah! <laughs> On behalf of the Board of Trustees, it is my privilege to welcome you to the ceremony which recognizes and celebrates your graduation. It is one of those days that you're going to have a very few of them in your lifetime. It is the end and the beginning at the same time. The last time you remembered that probably was the day you first approached campus when you came from home and you came here. This is one of those days. Celebrate it, savor it, try to understand it. You graduate at a time of profound transformation in how we communicate and how we think. I urge you not to fear this fast evolving world. A world united by the internet is a world without boundaries. And at the core of this new age will be people like you. Your ability to think critically, your imagination, your compassion will be valued as never before. Some of you may be bursting with excitement to receive your diploma, close this chapter of your life, and conquer the world. Others, including myself, may be more apprehensive. But regardless of how you may feel, remember the experiences we have had here, the painted tunnels, your freshman hall, your late nights in the rush stacks or the periodical room, for these are our roots. But also feel empowered to move your life to the next level, for this is not the end, but rather just the beginning. 43 years ago, I was here in this quad. Um, the quad had elm trees, not oak trees. And those 43 years went by faster than I could ever have imagined. Uh, in fact, indeed, as one grows older and older, time begins to fly faster and faster. Uh, it must have something to do with relativity. <laughs> so um, I'm supposed to give you some advice. If you're not going to go to graduate school, go out and get a job. Your parents probably agree with this advice. <laughs> They're clapping in the back. <laughs> Second bit of advice, find a job you care about that really matters. You're going to spend a lot of time in your life on a set of jobs. And if the first job or second job don't work out, move on. What compelled me to become Secretary of Energy and Director of a National Laboratory was my concern about the risks of climate change. And I'm reminded of an ancient American saying and it goes like this. We do not inherit the land from our ancestors. We borrow it from our children. And this is what, what we're doing is about. It's for you, and when you have children, if you have children, it's about those children. It's OK to fail. As long as you give it your best, fail fast, and move on quickly. Now you ask, how, did, how do you do that? How do you fail fast and efficiently? <laughs> You think about the problem and you work on the most critical and essential part of the challenge first. Over the course of my scientific career, I would say that roughly three quarters of the things I've tried either failed or morphed into something oftentimes better. Now, you, the class of 2013, are at the beginning of a life journey. You have an opportunity to stretch your intellectual wings, to wonder, to think, to create, and take risks. Your biggest failure will, will happen if you go through life and never fail. Because if you do that, you will never know what you could have done. Pretty soon, before you know it, you'll be my age, and no one can prepare you for how quickly time flies by. But before it does, do something you love, do something that matters. When you're old and gray and look back on your life, you'll be, want to be proud of what you've done. The source of that pride won't be the things you've acquired or the recognition you've received. It will be the lives you have touched and the difference you have made. A production of the University of Rochester. Please visit us online and subscribe to our channel for more videos.